opinion. Is that right? You understand? That you never heard the word Captain Fia with the million dollars. Never. It was pledged towards the project where it should go. Which that's what it's going for. It's going for the Lawrence Sewage Project so that people of Lawrence. So it was a million dollars going towards the tap in fees for the residents no. or or no. the tap in fees towards the tap in fees or it was uh, a savings of two dollars, one or two dollars a month on the bills. No. Is that correct? No. No. It, no. It went, there was. It was never used. It, the word tap in fee was never used. There was a million dollars pledged to the Lawrence Sewage Project. That's what it's going for. And Tom, no, no, no. What you guys are pushing for is to reverse stabilization for the entire cut. Uh, no, no. Uh, I'm pushing for. We're not paying our tap in fees. So, so what, are you, what are you going to do with a million dollars for then? For the Warren Sewage Project. But if it allows them to do rate stabilization across the entire township so people that live in Cecil proper don't have to pay for a sewage project. That's what they said they want to use it for. They want to use it for it to reach. That's not true. That's what they said. Walter told me straight up. Now we got to go another million, so we got to raise everybody's rates in Cecil and Muse. Walter Oshinsky told me straight up. Yeah, great stabilization for the whole customer base. That's what they want to use a million dollars for. Not for the dollars. But the reason they're doing great the the stabilization is because of they're doing the Lawrence Sewage Project. If they weren't doing the Lawrence Sewage Project, they wouldn't be doing great stabilization across the township. We, we should hold off. We should get we should get the municipal authority here to give us their exact and, and to tell the public and to tell the public exactly what what they're talking about. We had a meeting. We asked them to be here in uh, November, and they said they would come to one of our meetings. Did you promise somebody you were going to pay their tap in No, no. It was what was set up in 2012, and that's why we were voting on it that way. No. no. Municipal authority in the fall, where we sat in this room and they did a presentation and told us exactly what they were going to do with the million dollars, and it didn't include tapping. It didn't include tapping fees. So, what do you want to call them here again so they can do the exact same presentation they already did for you? Uh, I'd like to hear. You told me just supported that in 2012 that that was money was for the residents, and, and it's not great stabilization. Then, uh, go ahead. Can you come to the microphone? Sure. When, no, sorry. Yes, that's hot. Press the, maybe the button. Oh, it doesn't work. Oh, sorry. Use the, if you use the one. Oh, this one. Sorry. When, um, when the township first got sewage, I want to say it was 2010 or 2011, did those residents have to pay their own tap and fees? Absolutely. So, when my sister, who lived, lived at the time on Winnie, had to pay $8,000 to tap into her sewage line or put a lien on her house, that was what we're talking about, the same concept as what we're talking about now, correct? Yes. So, just so I have my understanding correct, just so I understand this, if, for example, a person lived on Winnie back then, they have to pay $8,000 to tap into the sewage or have a lien on their house, and now they have to pay a raised rate for the people in Lawrence to get no tapping fees. Is that correct? That's the yes, but, but to back up a little That's bit. That's the proposal by yeah. The tapping fees were $8,000. Six. Six thousand. Okay. Jesse White put some state money. Yes, she did get money back, yes. Everybody has $3,000 Correct. Back. She did get money back, yes. Right. Right. But, we can pay nothing. They pay their own. <laughs> they went out and got low interest loans, which the municipal authority should be doing right now. I'm they, just trying they to. They had banks come right here and people got their money. The other thing, Michelle, that you have to keep in mind is there's an added benefit. The value of your house increases also once you have public sewers. So not only are you, um, yes, you have, there's an investment of, in your property, there's an investment in that sewage, but there's also an added benefit. Because now the value of your property increases. Right, and, and I do feel bad for the people in Lawrence having to pay those cabin fees, but everybody else went through this already. Well, there was a suggestion, and I don't know if this worth willing to consider it, that we could use for people that are truly hard, have hardship, we could use C C D D G. I can never say it, funds to help people who really can truly prove a hardship. 
and they can help those people. There's also significant grants out there. I know when I did the LSA grant for Clinger Park, Cecil Township Municipal Authority got, I think it was 200,000, or actually, it was 200,000, didn't they? Because I got 200. I think they got $300,000 towards that. There's, there are grants and other applications that we can utilize to help those residents who truly need the help, but it shouldn't because it shouldn't be, in my opinion, that we take a million dollars from people across the board to pay for that when there's other options out there. Okay, that's thanks. <coughs> Question on the motion. Sure. Go ahead. Oh, you want to call for a vote? Sorry, I can't hear you if you're asked. My phone's here. Um, anybody else? All right. It's been moved and seconded. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 No. No. Ask for a roll call, please. Sure. Roll call vote. Savannah? No. Cassiola? No. Clear? Yes. Egizio? Yes. Fisher? Yes. That's just three to two. Um, any other old business that, that you want to bring up? Excuse me. Hold on a second, please. Hold on a second, please. Um, if there's no other board um, questions, we'll open it up for citizens' general comments and questions. Go ahead, Julie. I just want to go on record in regard to across the board as far as all the storage is going up. The municipal authority has been talking about it for over a year now. I've been on the board. And they want to make it uniform throughout the six watersheds. So, no matter what, the sewerage bills were going to go up. Some may even come down. The higher ones are up. I mean, the higher ones may come down, and the lower ones may go up. A lot more, because they want to make it uniform across the township. And there are six watersheds. So, we've been talking about that all along. That letter went out, I don't know, they talked about it back what, in what, what, August, what? attached to the water, uh, the sewerage bill. Okay. It's been attached to the sewerage bill. They, they explained, the municipal authority explained the whole thing. So, I'm listening to what you people are saying about Oh, the, water, the sewerage bills went up. Everybody's sewerage bills went up. It was going to go up. But, but, but Doreen, you're, you're missing something here. No, I'm not. <laughs> no, you're missing something. That million dollars is to go to build the plant. I understand what you're saying. They're going to raise everybody's rates. That, that's any utility can do that. Yes, and, and on top If they were smart, they'd sell the whole thing to the water yeah, company. Let me just say one other thing. That is not holding up the whole job of getting the sewage in Lawrence. There's other circumstances right now that is causing a little bit of a delay. It is not this million dollars. The municipal authorities got a lot of money in their bank. <laughs> that million dollars we were told is that not Frank holding up. That we needed to. We. I was just repeating relaying what we were told by one of your board members and so I, I'm, I'm, just you, I'm just telling you what I've experienced in the short time that I was on I'm on the board. Well I'm just telling you where that came from. We were approached by one of your members, Frank Zimba, at our last board meeting and were told that our decision on this million dollars was holding up you guys moving forward. Whether that's true or not is for your board. Yeah, that's, that's why be that. careful what you say because a lot of that is just maybe a little bit of contention because they have to pay their tap in or whatever. But I was the one on the board suggested also that we need to help these people either through LSA money, grants, this million dollars that was earmarked back in 2012 when I videoed those meetings up at the social center in regard to getting sewerage in Lawrence. Why has it taken eight, nine years and the price has jumped from like seven million, eight million to it was up as high as fifteen million dollars. 
Somebody's sitting on our hands. They should have had this done a long time ago. The DEP should have came in a long time ago because of all this storage that is running in the Chartier's crypt. So Arlene, that's what happened here in Cecil. It jumped up $5 million. We can't well, disagree, but that's yeah. not Anytime you wait, it's going to go up. Okay, let me stop you right there. You started about Jesse White. Jesse White didn't get that money for the people in Cecil. Oh, we're not going to start that right there. We're not going to start. Darlene, stop. stop for a second. Okay, I, 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 I was not said. Wait, Darlene, hold on. Just for a point, though, like, just for clarification, it wasn't this board. This board doesn't move the sewage project forward. So, just for a point of clarification, it wasn't our board that held this project up for eight years. That, and I'm not placing blame on the municipal authority, I'm just saying that it wasn't, we, we don't do that. We are not in the business of sewage projects. And how many times did they switch engineers? Yeah, a lot. So, okay, anybody else have any comments or questions for the record? This meeting is adjourned. Oh, sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, not a jerk. Sorry, come back. Sorry, you go. You go. I have two points I'd like to bring up tonight, and I'll be quick because I know the meeting's running long. Um, the first one is I wanted to know. There's been a lot of talk about the the fire departments and what's happening with their um, the hiring of the fire chief. Um, I think that it's there's not been a lot of clarification from the board as a whole, and there hasn't been a lot of clarification from the fire departments either about what's actually going on, and there's a lot of rumors flying around. So I'm just like some clarification on the fire chief position. Is it going forward? Is it? Yes, it's going forward. We continue to meet with the fire departments. We have another meeting scheduled March 11th at 7 p.m. Um, it is a meeting between the Board of Supervisors, our fire consultant, and the volunteer fire company. Um, there is a job description that has now twice been circulated to um, the Board of Supervisors for review, as well as to the fire chief and president to send to their membership for review and comments. Um, response was requested by this Friday, March 5th, um, so that those comments and questions can be and concerns can be incorporated into any sort of changes in those. There was also a conceptual model that has been circulated also to the Board of Supervisors and to the Fire Chiefs and Presidents to be circulated to their membership so that, um, and again, comments and questions were asked to be received no later than this Friday, March 5th. Um, there is an agenda, I actually just finished working on it, with the fire consultant that will be emailed out later today or maybe tomorrow at this point um, for the March 11th agenda so or for the March 11th meeting so that everybody kind of knows what's to be discussed but the process is moving forward 